Hello, I am Mal, and welcome to my channel and to XCOM 2. Man, I am so happy to be able to say that. I'm going to say it one more time. XCOM 2. <laughs> I'm so excited to finally be able to experience this game and share it with all of you. Uh, I've been so looking forward to this. Uh, if you're not familiar with my channel, uh, I am a, uh, I guess you would say I am an XCOM fanboy. Uh, I have, uh, I, I think about 2,000 hours logged between uh, XCOM, Enemy Unknown, Enemy Within, and then the mod for XCOM, XCOM Long War, which I've done almost two complete playthroughs of. Um, and I just, I enjoy XCOM so much. Now, if, if you aren't familiar with the channel, please take a look around. Um, we've got some interesting things that we're doing with the characters in terms of their stories and kind of carrying soldiers over from the previous Let's Play in Long War. Uh, so check that out. Now, speaking of the characters, before we jump in, and I, I'm going to do the the tutorial mission in this episode. Um, now, it's on, it's on rails, uh, just like in um, Enemy Unknown, um, the tutorial mission there, where you basically just follow a scripted thing. But there's some very uh, cool and important cutscenes, so I'm going to go through it, and while I go through the tutorial, I'm going to explain some of the new game mechanics that are different in XCOM 2, versus XCOM Enemy Within. But before we get into that, I want to take a look at the character pool. So as you can see here, we've got a lot of soldiers already in. Now they take a while to make, actually, which is uh, this part of it, the character pool part of XCOM 2 is just absolutely phenomenal. I love it. And you can create the characters and you can export them. And I'm going to have a whole separate video kind of going into that uh, in detail here in the coming days. But it's just amazing. So let's let's take a look here at an example. So here's Leona Shade from our XCOM Long War series. And she is all kind of decked out. She looks kind of scary. I actually did not create her, a fellow community member. And uh, a buddy of mine, Angel of Iron, a.k.a. Clutch, as he's known from the Long War series, helped me produce a lot of these characters. I would not have been able to create all of these myself uh, in the given time. I, I the game unlocked and I spent the last six hours messing around with the game and then helping to create these characters. But thanks to him, uh, thanks to uh, to Clutch, we've got all of these characters ready to go. Who's this guy? Oh, I did. What's going on there, I did? <laughs> anyway, let's get back to the main menu. I just wanted to show you that this is the, the character pool for Season 1. Now, I am still actively adding people. There was an announcement video for recruitment, so if you're interested in becoming a soldier and part of this campaign, you can go check out that video. Uh, it says enlistment form. Check out the video and go to the links in the description if you want to get to the form to request a soldier. All right. Enough of that stuff, let's get into it. Now, um, you cannot do the tutorial in Legend, so I'm gonna go ahead and do it in Commander, uh, but then when we actually get into the heart of the campaign, I'm just going to change the difficulty to Legend because I wanna play the entire campaign on Legend difficulty. Um, I also um, had previously stated that I wasn't going to use any mods at all, However, I, I think there's a good chance when we hop into episode two, I will have added the Long War Studios day one mod uh, called the leader mod because I have all these characters that previously, you know, kind of went through the ranks and, and, and in Long War are actually officially officers. And I, I'm going to miss that element if it's not there. So I probably will use the leader mod, but nothing else. Uh, at least not for this first campaign. All right, let's get to it. Excitement continues to build as city centers across the globe prepare for the 20th anniversary of Unification Day. Thousands line up at the site of the Great Accord, celebrating the formation of the Advent Coalition. In keeping with their promise to humanity, 12 new gene therapy clinics will be opening in select cities by the end of the new year. Despite the attempted attack by fringe elements, operations at the new facility in Paris thankfully remain unaffected. In response to the unprovoked intrusion, 
on the eve of our most beloved celebration, the speaker reaches out to us. A small number of dissidents again repeat the mistakes of the old world. Striking as we celebrate a benevolent savior who time and again offers only friendship and compassion. Yet these trivial actions could never break the bond between humanity and the elders. Peacekeeping forces have already made several preemptive arrests of known collaborators. Advent again assures all citizens that today's celebrations will continue as planned. Perfect. Position. You were right. Definitely got their hands full today. Stay focused. Prep gate crasher. 60 seconds. All right, here we go, folks. Now, again, it is scripted. First things first. You need to get out of sight. Grab some cover near that wall. Yes. Wall. You don't say. Grab some cover. Got it. So we will do that. We're going to follow along. And, but as we go through, there's going to be new elements that are part of XCOM 2 that I want to talk about briefly. And then, of course, like I mentioned earlier, there's some really cool cutscenes. We've already seen one of them. But I wanted to make sure everyone got a chance to see. So, just like in the uh, the original, well, technically it's not the original, but in XCOM Enemy Unknown, and Within, it has the same movement system. So you've got two arrows that indicate your move points. The first one, commonly known as the blue move, and then the second, which is your dash, which is known as the yellow move. Though that mechanic has not changed. Now, what has changed, and let me see if it'll let me do it. If you hold down control, yeah, if you hold down control, you can see there's like a little arrow pointing at the ground. So I can, let's say there was a big cloud of uh, acid here or a fire. Um, this would be, you know, problematic uh, in uh, Enemy Within. But now you can actually route yourself. So I can say, hey, I'm going to go here and I'm going to go around it. Obviously, there's nothing there, but and then I'm going to go ahead and go up to this spot here. And then you let go of control and you right click and it'll run that route. Well, or it should. Why isn't it why isn't it going? Oh, it wants me to go directly. All right, well, I'll have to show you after then. Double but you can actually route the uh, the soldier wherever you want, which is really really helpful. Opens up a lot of new tactical options. Position. We're going to have to go through them. Stay out of sight until we're ready to strike. Copy that. Okay, now we're gonna now we're gonna talk about concealment a little bit. We'll only get one shot at this. In the shadows. Okay, 
so it's telling us that most missions you're going, not all, but most missions you're going to start in concealment. So as long as you have this symbol up above and sort of this sort of like light around the edges of the screen, you are in concealment. Now, uh, as you approach, and let's see, let me move up here and then we'll be able to see it. Stay in low. As you approach enemies, they're going to have a sight range or detection range. Don't get too close. They'll be spotted for sure and we'll lose our advantage. Okay, so if we move into any of these squares, then we would be detected, we'd be revealed. Um, and it can be very dangerous to be revealed, especially if you're out of cover, because they can take shots on you, uh, flank shots, and, you know, that's it. That's XCOM, baby. You're going to be toast. So you need to avoid it. And what I would say is, in my limited time playing the game, and I have played... Uh, a couple of missions trying to kind of get my arms around things. Uh, you need to take your time uh, setting up your first initial contact. Uh-oh. This guy's serious. Yeah. I'm with you, dude. Actually, I'm not. Alright, we'll do it, we'll do it, we'll do it. Permission to engage. Do it. So, like I was saying before, I was so rudely interrupted by the advent officer. Uh, you need to take your time setting up your ambushes, and I can I can't really show you that um, that well here, obviously, because as an example, in this tutorial, I, I only have one target I can fire on. I don't have any real flexibility here. But of course, in future episodes, I'm gonna I'm gonna show you that in detail. All right, let's take our shot. The game looks amazing. Absolutely amazing. One is on the okay, now we've been revealed. Well, you know, you, sh you shoot a guy in the face and you, you know, you get revealed. That makes sense, right? Okay, so, losing concealment. The entire squad loses concealment when a soldier attacks an enemy, breaking windows or kicking doors. Yep, that's something you gotta worry about now. Um, you kinda always had to be concerned a little bit about your sound, but now it's, you know, a real deal here. Um, or a soldier is uh, flanked or steps on a detection tile. Now, soldier is flanked, meaning in visual sight of an enemy. They can see you now. How about you all shoot first and celebrate later? No problem. Okay, so we got to move Ramirez up here. I appreciate the bravery, but you're dangerous. Note that these are static now. soldiers, Careful. I believe. They're not from my character pool. Okay, I'm supposed to take a shot at this guy. All right. Okay, so here's something else that's new. Um, when you kill enemies, you have a you have a chance, or there's a chance that they will drop items. And these are typically weapon mods. Not always. There's various different things that they can be, like Alarium cores and what have you. But you can get things like uh, scopes or auto loaders. Really, really useful weapon mods. So if at all possible, oh no, Ramirez is down. No. Um. Again, this is completely scripted. We can't avoid that. Damn it. The developers want to make it clear that you're going to lose soldiers. They want to drill that into your head right off the bat, as they should. So, like I was saying, you want to you want to collect those. You can see here that it says there's two turns to pick it up. Uh, we're being, you know, told to go over here and flank this soldier, but uh, you're going to want to recover those. They're it's pretty important. Um, and I believe that if you're like towards the end of a mission and you have items dropped, you can simply end the mission and you'll still get them. At least I think that's the case. Nice work. Press All right. All right, Peter, we got to do this. We got to do this. For science or justice. Well, it's for something. Can I? Come on. Come on now. Let's go. Yes, attacking a flank unit. And I agree. Let's attack the flank unit. There we go. They're closing in on me. They're on the move. Oh, you had a bad day. Oh, that's right. That's right. Transmission. 
Central, reporting in. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> Bradford! What have you been doing down there? Taking in the sights. What the hell are these things? They're us. At least they used to be. Human hybrid soldiers. Advent's reward for obedience and service. We've all heard rumors. I just never believed it was true. No one wanted to. But we find what we're looking for today. I promise you that's gonna change. Let's move. Looks like that transmission went through. You have an Advent transport closing on your position. Uh oh. We got Advent reinforcements coming in. So this is another new mechanic. Um, the enemies can call in reinforcements. Now, it is telegraphed for you because, you know, this flare indicates where they're coming down. Um, and it makes, it makes it, you know, kind of for an interesting challenge. You think your mission's going really well, um, and then all of a sudden reinforcements come in. Um, I played one mission, um, a little while ago where, uh, I thought I was pretty much done with the mission. Lo and behold, reinforcements were coming in, but then beyond that, the, uh, where are you supposed to go here? Hold on. Beyond that, the issue was that, um... Oh, I was supposed to overwatch. Okay, fine. The, main entrance is clear. the issue was that I thought it was clear. Reinforcements were coming in. I moved away to a better, what I thought was a better position, and lo and behold, there was another pod there. <laughs> so I ended up having to fight what was inside that, uh, building that, uh, I accidentally ran into them. And then the reinforcements came in. Whew, got a little bit, a uh, little bit ugly. But it's kind of cool though, because it, ma it makes the it makes the battlefield very fluid, and for me, it makes it more challenging, which is what I'm looking for. In theory. <laughs> All right, let's go pick up these items. Just run over. They'll scooch down and grab that. Okay, so in this case, there was a scope. Add aim bonus to a weapon that it's attached to. Okay, and then you're supposed to move up. All right, go. Don't be a slacker, Jane. So here comes in the reinforcements. Okay, it's a captain and two soldiers. The captains are really dangerous, actually. Um, not only do they have um, really good aim, uh, but they can they can mark a target. So you're going to be easier to hit. Overwatch. All right, nice. Good job, Peter. Well done. Fall back to our position. Just go. I'll try to stall him here. No, oh, you're gonna you're gonna hold him off, huh? Yeah, that's that's not gonna go well for Peter, I don't think. Okay, so here's yet another new mechanic, hacking. So in this case, we're going to do a simple hack against this door. Through the door security protocols. They were never expecting anyone to get this close. Okay, so we just hit our little hack button here. Okay, so any any soldiers, I understand it, can do hacking. Like for instance, this soldier right here is a rookie. Um, the a uh, specialist class actually can sort of, um, lack of a better way to say it, specialize <laughs> in in hacking um, using their uh, using their drone, a gremlin, to to go and do things like this. They can even do hacking remotely. Now, this in this example, we're guaranteed to open the door. We've got a six percent chance uh, to disguise to have disguise signals. Soldiers immediately gain concealment. Um, you're going to have options like this. And there's always a negative side effect if you fail. So, like, I don't have to go for either of these, and I probably won't. Um, but if you if you are successful, you're going to gain whatever the the positive modifier it is, whether it's extra intel, extra supplies, um, maybe it's a combat bonus, what have you. But if you fail it, there's almost always this negative effect. So you got to kind of, you know, do you want to roll the dice on a mission? I would say, generally speaking, this is just based on what I have watched and just sort of theory crafting. 
you're probably better off not trying to do any of this hacking stuff early on in the game. It's just not, the risk versus reward is just not there. Alright, so we're gonna unlock the door. Success! We're in. Good, let's go. Alright, let's move Bradford over. Moving to secure the package. Let's hope our intel was good. This is the place. Are you sure? Yes. Looks like there's an access panel attached. If you got me a better look, I might be able to... Next time. Okay, so here we go. Let's see. We have yet another new mechanic, and this is to carry a unit. So we will select this unconscious person. Bradford will pick him up. So you can use this if you've got someone that's critically wounded on the field and is bleeding out. You can also, um, you can also carry back a dead soldier. The whole leave no man or woman behind uh, ethos. Plus, uh, you uh, will preserve their equipment, if I'm not mistaken. No, not Peter, no! No! Central, Crasher 1 is down. You have to get out of there. We're working on it. We need another exit, now! Oh, okay, here we go. So, this isn't necessarily a new mechanic. Got it covered. But it's pretty cool. In XCOM 2, um, explosives are a big deal. And the the things that you can destroy, we're talking, you, you can destroy anything, really. Pretty much. Which I'm fine with. Come on now. Yes. There we go. So, we're talking not only walls, but you can destroy uh, ceilings, um, you can destroy uh, all kinds of environmental things that will have secondary explosions. And not to say that we didn't have that in XCOM uh, Enemy Unknown and Enemy Within. We did, it's just sort of like taken up a notch. Alright, let's move Bradford over there. Obviously, he's going to move a little slower carrying someone. Now, if you're going to be playing on a difficulty level lower than Legend, then it's definitely worth it to do the tutorial. Um, not not just if you're new to the game or you need a refresher, uh, but because I'm pretty sure you get to keep that m whatever items drop. And that's a nice little leg up right at the beginning. We need an immediate evac. Get us out of here. All right, this is another this is another new element. You have to call in the Sky Ranger for an evac. Now, you can't do this in every mission, but let's see here. Let's call the Sky Ranger. Place it right here. Here comes our flare. Nice. Keep moving. You don't need to tell me twice. Okay, now. Nope, not put the unit down. I want to evac. Oh, I'm just supposed to move there? Okay, that works. We should get an option to evac. Yep. Let's do it.
now it's time to go home. Our new mobile base, the Avenger. Carefully! There's potentially decades of atrophy to contend with. Wish we had more time. I don't disagree. But as it stands now, we risk losing the patient if we don't begin the removal procedure immediately. We are ready. Good. Then let's get on with it. Remarkable. Just like 20 years ago. We were still calling it a war back then. We had no idea what was coming. Response from the cerebral cortex. Good. Prepping for cranial intrusion. That looks uncomfortable. I've managed to identify the connection. Preparing to make final incision. These readings are getting really erratic. Of course they are. These implants were never designed to be removed. We are risking severe... No plan B here, people. Do it. Ouch. Response normal. Vital stabilizing. Procedure complete. Told them it would take more than that to keep you down. Welcome back, Commander. That's right. We saved ourselves. Welcome back, Commander. Welcome back. Glad to see you're finally coming out of it. Don't envy the headache you must have, though. Still. Can't fault Dr. Tigan. Especially as no one's even attempted something like this before. Easy. We're still not entirely sure what they did to you. That chip was buried halfway into your skull. Lost a lot of good soldiers looking for you over the years. Almost gave up hope you were still out there. Acted on the intel as soon as I got word. Not sure what you remember, but... Uh... A lot's changed. Did the best I could, but the last 20 years have been tough without you. You uh, feel like catching up. Shen has the archive up and running on your terminal. Otherwise, I'd go see Dr. Tigan when you're ready. There's some things you should know. He'll be better at explaining them than me. It's damn good to have you back, Commander. All right, so here we are on the Avenger. Commander so, to the research labs. Commander to the research labs. You gotta love it. All right, but what we're gonna do actually is I'm gonna cover um, kind of the Avenger and kind of explain some things, and we'll get into conversations with Doctor Tigan, who is our our chief scientist now. He's replaced, uh, you know, Valen from uh, XCOM: Enemy Within an Unknown. Um, but we'll get into all that. We'll get into all that in the next one. So I hope that you enjoyed this first episode of what's going to be many episodes of XCOM 2. And I do plan to not only do this first playthrough um, with maybe that leader mod, but I'm going to have many, many campaigns um, that'll be heavily modified. And I look forward to all of the things that I hear that are coming. Uh, cooperative co-op mode. Um, that's going to be sweet if that happens. Being able to actively play as the aliens. Uh, there's all kinds of really cool mods that are coming. And I'm hoping that we're going to see a long war too on top of XCOM. I would, I, I would, I would think that that's in the cards. 
But in any case, I hope that you did enjoy this first episode and that you will join me for future episodes. Again, if you're interested in joining the team, you want to solicit to add yourself as a soldier, there's going to be a link below this video that'll take you to the forum to do that. Thanks so much for watching, and until next time, Commanders, I am Mal, and I'll see you later.